talking about the bizarre movie Lose. And this is actually a German movie directed and written by Tillman Singer. And um, this is, you would be described as a chamber drama. What is a chamber drama, in case you don't know? It is a, a, uh, essentially more like a play, I suppose, that has really one location or very little locations, a small cast, a very kind of, you know, not much to it. Ultimately, just a dialogue-driven play with a small cast in a very uh, set location. Sound interesting? It gets even more bizarre because this movie is almost a weird German avant-garde expressionist uh, art house movie with this kind of chamber drama style plot. Sound interested? It's a weird one. Um, so the, the story focuses on this young girl who is a cab driver and she wanders into this kind of police uh, um, building. And uh, then we have a kind of a, a, a secondary plot where we see this kind of guy at the bar being chatted up by this woman who is apparently a demon uh, and who goes from this woman into, into this guy. And this guy is a doctor who also works at this police station. And he's trying, this the demon is trying to find this particular girl, Lols. Um because they have a pre-existing relationship. And essentially the bulk of the movie is a kind of like a role play where the, 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 kind of the police are trying to, uh, with, the, with this doctor who is technically speaking really the demon, although they don't know that, is trying to kind of go over the, the, the events that have led up to this point with Lowell's kind of like, because she's a cab driver, they cut, he's got these chairs sort of set out and she's, acting like she would have tried to recreate what has happened to her to this point. We do see some scenes of flashbacks as well. And, uh, yeah, and has a little bit of uh, demonic possession as well. It's just a weird, bizarre film. Um, so what can I say about this film? This is going to be very much a taste thing. Do I think general audiences will like this movie? No. No, I do not. There may be a contingent of people who appreciate, obviously, what is an extremely low-budget film, this very artistically made, uh, very kind of um, stylized drama. It's, it's, I mean, it's a horror by only the fact that there, there is a demonic possession. There's no real horror scenes, if that makes sense. It's, but we are dealing with a demonic possession. So by that very small kind of tangent, I'll, I'll kind of refer to this movie as a horror, but there's no jump, there's nothing scary in it, there's no gore, there's no horror scenes. Um, the acting, I actually thought was quite good, uh, to be honest with you. I always sometimes, I sometimes struggle whilst watching foreign language movies to really, really know if, how good the acting is, because it's hard to... Um, see what words people enunciate for example in, in emotive scenes because obviously i'm not sure what the actual you know what the actual point of the, the the word that they're saying is necessarily but um i do think on the you know just the way that kind of the lines were delivered the physical acting uh, was all pretty good here and uh the girl who plays lols she's kind of like reacting like she's on on this chair kind of pretending she's driving and I kind of got it. I thought it looked quite, you know, the actual acting was quite good. And I think there is a, uh, and maybe an audience for just something really bizarre. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not visually bizarre necessarily because you don't really see much on screen. It's just a bunch of people talking in a room. Um, so visually speaking, there's really not a lot here. There's one special effects uh, sequence in it, and even that is, you know, low kind of low fi. Um, but, but there are, nonetheless, there is some kind of, there is some interesting cinematography here, uh, done on a, on, a, on a such a small budget. Um, but I've got to say, it's just, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very short film. It's only like 70 minutes. But God, it really dragged. It really dragged. Uh, because there's so little plot here. It just didn't feel like it needed to be a film. Um... It's just, and I got to about the halfway mark. I thought, well, you know what? This film's going to fly by. 70 minutes? No. 
it was just like, oh, please be over, please be over. I'm kind of, it's just like, it's so, it takes so long to get to the point. The movie's 70 minutes long, but the first shot of the movie is this girl walking into the police station and getting a, um, like a, something for, like, from the vending machine. It takes like four minutes for that one scene. Just to give you an example, it's just like stretched out. Like, we must make this feature up so we can sell it as DVD, and rather than kind of it being bunged onto just a YouTube short, we must stretch it out so we can sell it as a feature film. Ah, uh, no. It's just like, there's just not enough here. Um, like I've said, if you, if you are into art house films with a horror edge, maybe. The acting is good, but really I can't say too much to recommend it. Because there's not much here. Um, it's well shot for what it is, but it's like I said, it's one location. So, uh, hard one to review this one. Um, I'll give it a four out of ten. Uh, I don't think it's badly made. It's clearly the film that they are trying to make, and in that respect, it isn't badly made. I just don't think it has a lot of appeal to, to people. So, four out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.